And she just pulled it out enough? Because I feel like that's going to come flying out. Is that not right? Didn't she put it down into the... And then it... Because right now or it's wait, not really wait, wait, wait. hooked on anything. She did the what? The dentist. Oh, you know. DIY scrim projection mapping we're going to do on this tree over to your left. And go. <laughs> <laughs> we're at a pretty crucial moment right now. Is this thing going to work? Because uh, we're turning on the projector right now for the first time to see if the projection on the screen, and it's not looking great. It's definitely going to keep the mosquitoes away. Uh, I think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to be as bright. I think it'll work. I've been on scaffolding and done something crazy that everybody else said that couldn't be done. I don't know. Around 15, 20 times, would you say? I was asking you. I mean, I would think around 15, 20. We're going to stretch it out. Then we're going to stretch it out. It's still going to project all the way through. Yeah. That's why I don't think that it's going to work to place leaves on every branch. Branch. I think we're going to have to do uh, something a little more generic. I think you're going to see the leaves in the background and on the front. Yeah. I think it'll be pretty red, though. I can't believe I just said red. <laughs> That's pretty rad. <laughs> red. Rad. I think it's so red. Rad. rad. See rad. where it's cool. folded over. It. Corey? Corey? Uh, and yeah. it's actually showing up pretty good. One thing that you haven't thought about that I have thought of. You guys done? Action. Um, if you were to even come up from the floor, from that direction and from this direction. So you could get the background image with the foreground image and come up from the back. All right, here's the plan. So Bri, if you'll go grab a high res picture, of it, cut out the trunk, put it on a black background, 1080p, load it into ProPresenter. Ryan Bachum, if you can go grab a projector to upshoot at the back of the black screen and see if we can add even more dimension. And then we just need two people here to help us move scaffolding around your left. Ricardo, you good with that? Yep. Bang it out. Bang it out. On my own. Do it. I think Mike's going to take better. care of his feelings. Cutting some chain. Six feeters. Go what? ahead and just uh, bend that out of place right now. For the pulley system. It's for my new necklace. Oh. You guys ready? Yeah. I'm gonna throw here you go. Please don't. All right, ready? I'm going to do it. One, two, two, three. Two, three. Here it comes. You didn't catch it. We are setting up this projector. Hopefully we'll be able to project a separate image on that screen from this angle, possibly falling leaves. Of course, this is all in theory. We've never done anything like this. So. We're gonna keep working until we decide whether this is gonna work or not. Big old tree falling and coming to life and stuff. Slowly killing my computer. Black screen, green leaves, see if it works. And the lighting, we can't, like we got in today, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow before we can set up lights and right. do all that stuff. Exactly. We're going to try to do the single mic. Is that mic. accordion, guys? Is it pulling like an accordion? Uh, it looks just like an accordion. Kinda. Not really. <laughs> when are we going to have time to do the acoustic set? I guess we'll have to do that afterwards tomorrow. It sounds good in the room. It should sound good on the stage. Right? Hopefully. I'm going to poke Alex in the butt while he's up on the mic. Scaffolding, and then, and then he's on like a ladder. We'll go ahead and take a look. We're gonna make him a little nervous. Said you have no friends, but you've got a friend in me. Is that it? You're giving up? 